taking all the sunshine, bottle up the rain. Go where the wind blows, let it show the way. Open all the windows, let in all the light. You can pull the stars down, paint the perfect sky. So go and write your song. The world will sing along. Hey guys, I'm a Keith Rook and Rover. Thanks for tuning in. This is the first tutorial of others to come. We will eventually cover all our preset packs. We're going to try and cover some adjustments we think will help you better use the presets. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the Rover Pack, although you can take what you learn here and apply it to any of the Rook and Rover presets. The Rover Pack presets were designed so that each separate preset gives a different unique look. I'm not going to go over all the presets today, but if you have any questions regarding a preset and how to tweak it, just email us at hello at rookandrover.com. I'll also be showing you how to use the modified version of the presets that come within the Rover Pack. This is a later update. If you have purchased the Rover Pack and not received the update, send us an email and we'll get you taken care of. So we're starting with this photo because it's a little trickier to edit. We tend to find outdoor photos that are shot in low light situations and shot in auto white balance can come out having a cooler temperature. So you have to be a bit extreme with the temperature and adjust it pretty warm. This will help you achieve better tones. Okay, so let's start with Rover 1. First, let's apply the preset. Then I would adjust the exposure probably to about 30. Then I would adjust the temperature. And like I said, you have to be a bit extreme with it. Okay, now I'm gonna try brightening it with the shadows. And I'm going to bring down the blacks just a little. And I don't know if you guys can tell because you're watching it in a video, but it's a bit sharp in the leaves and around the edges. So I'm actually going to bring the clarity down probably to about minus 10. And I'm actually going to bring the temperature up just a little more. I think we need a little more color. And a little more contrast. All right, so that's it. So here is before, and here's after. For our next photo, we're gonna use Rover 2. This photo is from Jessica Janae Photography. She's a talented photographer based out of Salt Lake City, Utah. All right, so let's start by applying Rover 2. All right, from here, I would adjust the exposure up a little bit. And then I would continue brightening it with the shadows. Okay. So now I'm going to add a little bit of temperature. With Rover 2, it's designed to help achieve warm, peachy skin tones. So adding in that temperature helps you achieve that. So when using this preset, you'll probably want to apply the warmer temperature. Okay. And now I'm going to bring the blacks down just a little bit. and I'm going to add a contrast. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. I'm actually gonna bring the shadows up a little. Probably bring the contrast to about zero. Okay, I think that looks good. So let's look at the before and let's look at the after. OK, 
Okay, and real quick, I'm gonna show you the modified version of Rover 2. We will do Rover 2P modified. So the modified presets are presets we've adjusted and applied to that preset. It's meant to give you guys better results in one click, but that doesn't mean you won't have to adjust. So let's apply Rover 2P mod. All right, and that looks pretty good. I mean, I probably adjust the exposure down just a little bit to like 15. But yeah, that's it. So here's before and here's after. Now we're gonna use Rover 6 and we're gonna use it on an indoor photo to help show you guys how to adjust the presets on indoor settings. This photo is from Melly and Shane. They are a talented photography couple based out of the south of Germany. Okay, so let's apply Rover 6 first. And from here, I'm gonna bring the exposure up quite a bit. I'm also going to brighten it up a little more with the shadows. And now that I can see the tones better, I'm going to bring the temperature and cool it down a little bit. On indoor photos, the presets will always look oversaturated. So be sure to always adjust the saturation. I'm going to take the orange saturation and I'm going to Take it down probably to about two. And then from here, I'm gonna add contrast in. And I'm gonna bring the shadows up a little more. And I think that looks pretty good. I might take the saturation down to about 56. Okay, I think that looks good. So let's look at the before. And after. Awesome. Okay, now we're gonna do one more photo and we will show you Rover 5 on this photo. And this photo is from Jessica Janae Photography. And this photo is a good example of a backlit subject. And we're gonna show you how to adjust the presets to help balance out the photo. So let's start out by applying Rover 5. And even with one click, I think that looks pretty good. But we're still gonna make a few adjustments. Let's bring up the shadows a little. And let's bring down the blacks. Just a little. And let's go ahead and apply the contrast. So I'm gonna add it to about eight. And I'm gonna take the temperature and I'm gonna make it warmer. I personally like warmer photos, but if you want it to stay cooler, you can leave it there. The reason I didn't adjust the temperature at the beginning is because it was actually pretty good. Like, this is just a personal preference. And I'm actually going to bring down the exposure.
All right, I think it looks good. So let's look at the B4. After. All right, guys, so that about covers it. If you have questions that we didn't cover, like I said, you can go ahead and send us an email. You can send us your file and we can edit it for you and show you the adjustments we would make and send it back. The next preset video we're coming out with is going to be RRXH and that should be coming out sometime within the next few weeks. And as most of you know, if you want to be featured, go ahead and hashtag Rook and Rover Crew or tag Rook and Rover Crew. All right, guys. Cheers. Cheers.